Many people may be surprised to learn that most inventions occur accidentally and when no one expects them to. For instance, someone might drop something on the ground, shatter it, and then come up with a groundbreaking idea to stop these kinds of mishaps. This implies that if we keep our thoughts active, any one of us is capable of creating something new. Let's examine a few of them. Number 5. Mind Control and Military Over time, there have been significant changes to the helmet worn by U.S. military personnel. The M1917 M1917 A1 helmets, also referred to as Daboid or Dishpan helmets, shielded American infantrymen's heads during World War I. The M1 Steel Pot, which served as the official helmet during World War II, the Korean War and the Vietnam War, took their place in 1941. American military helmets had developed into a single, multi-layered Kevlar-29 ballistic fiber structure by the 1980s. But the helmet of the near future might be more than just an additional layer of defense against flying shrapnel. Under funding from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARE-PA of the United States, an Arizona State University researcher is attempting to create a military helmet with brain-regulating technology. Transcranial pulse ultrasound is the technology which targets particular brain regions with high-frequency sound pulses. Neurons receive these sound waves and use them to send impulses that regulate their targets. This has far-reaching repercussions for the battlefield. A soldier might activate different parts of the brain by releasing ultrasonic pulses using a controller. For instance, when it's time to get some sleep, he or she can desire to unwind or become more attentive after spending several hours awake. A soldier may even be able to reduce tension or lose perception of pain, which would mean they wouldn't require morphine or other drugs. Naturally, others consider this kind of neurotechnology to be science fiction. Some fear that Uncle Sam is attempting to control its soldier's thoughts. It's one thing having a drill surgeon yell in your ear after all. To have one inside your skull is a whole different matter. Number 4. Pusher of Pencils According to the Clean Air Council, U.S. businesses consume around 21 million tons, 19 million metric tons, of paper annually or 175 pounds of paper for every American. Office recycling initiatives, please think before you print email signatures and double-sided printers, are the results of this. Three Chinese entrepreneurs are now attempting to add another gadget to the work environment. The P&P Office Waste Paper Processor, which recycles paper into pencils. The device, which resembled a hybrid of an electric pencil sharpener and a three-hole punch, was a finalist in the 2010 Light on Awards, a worldwide contest that aims to foster and encourage innovation. This is how the device that makes pencils operates. Waste paper is inserted into a feed slot. The paper is drawn in by the machine, which then rolls and compresses it before inserting a piece of lead from a storage chamber at the top of the apparatus. Before a pencil emerges from a hole on the side, a tiny bit of adhesive is applied. Although the exact number of paper pieces that make up a pencil is unknown, you would think that a typical office worker might produce a respectable amount of pencils in a month. And that appears to be the main disadvantage of the device that makes pencils. Considering that most office workers take notes on their laptops or tablets, how many know? Two pencils can a genuine workplace use? In addition, what is the required quantity of glue in lead corp purchases to maintain the overflowing paper recycling bin? We assume that this device would be too much, which is why it might not ever be listed in your office supply catalog. Number 3. Perpetual Printing Since the advent of the desktop computer, printing has advanced significantly. Daisy wheel printers were the first, followed by dot matrix, inkjet, and laser printers. Naturally, the issue with all of these output devices is that they need a lot of paper and costly consumables like toner. Why is it so difficult for someone to create a printer that uses no ink or toner and lets the user reuse paper? It turns out that there is nothing new here. Since the 1970s, Xerox has been using electronic paper. The most promising remedy for it is a kind of paper known as Giracon. A thin transparent plastic sheet with millions of tiny oil-filled spaces is called a Giracon sheet. Within each chamber, a two-colored bead is free to rotate. The beads spin to show the viewer one colored side when a printer delivers voltage to the sheet, enabling the creation of text or images. Until the paper is put through the printer again, the images will stay on it. Sanwa Newtech, a Japanese corporation, sells its brand of rewritable, toner-free and inkless printing technology. Its product, the Pripeat Rewritable Printer, uses plastic paper, just like the Kexirox method. But Pripeat creates an image using a different method. Luco dyes, which become transparent when heated and colored when cooled, are embedded in each sheet of paper. Next, to erase a picture and subsequently construct a new one in its place, the Pripeat printer heats and cools the paper. A single sheet of paper can be reused 1,000 times before it needs to be replaced, according to the business. What is the snag? 
A box of 1,000 sheets of paper costs more than $3,300, while a single Prupeat printer is about $6,000. In the long run, you might be able to recover your investment if your company relies heavily on printing. However, it's unlikely that the typical PC user will be prepared to spend that much money to replace a conventional printer. Number 2. Seed Racer Mercedes-Benz has long been a leader in innovation. The German automaker is responsible for several things, including electronic stability systems, anti-lock brakes, diesel and supercharged engines in passenger cars, and more. However, nothing could be more inventive than the Biome Concept automobile, which made its debut at the November 2010 Los Angeles Auto Show. This is how the car was described in the official press release. From seeds placed in a nursery, the Mercedes-Benz Biome thrives in an entirely organic environment. When driving, an automobile releases only pure air, and when it comes to an end, it may be easily composted or turned into building material. The car was designed by engineers at Mercedes-Benz Advanced Design Studios in Carlsbad, California, in response to the Los Angeles Design Challenge. The objective of the challenge was to develop a future compact car that would be safe, comfortable, and able to carry four people while weighing only 1,000 pounds, 454 kilograms. The Mercedes-Benz concept is embodied in the biome, because it is constructed of an incredibly light material called biofiber, the completed vehicle weighs only 876 pounds, 397 kilograms, while being broader than a regular car. Get this if you believe something sounds too good to be true, there is no constructed biome. Two seeds are needed for it to grow, one for the exterior and one for the interior. Four more seeds that are planted in the nursery sprout into wheels. Naturally, the biome is not available at your neighborhood Mercedes-Benz dealership, this is due to the futuristic design, which is a concept car that is decades ahead of its time. It might not exist today as a result, but after 20 or 30 years of creative engineering and forward thinking thinking, it might become as common as a Corolla. Number 1. Body Armor with Integrated Flashlight, Camera Phone Charger, and Stun Gun Comparable in appearance to Christian Bale's ominous black body armor from the latest Batman films is the Armstar Bodyguard 9XI HD01. It is quite similar to that. A California inventor filed a patent for the wearable shield and self-defense device or bodyguard, which combines the functions of a communications device, a non-lethal weapon, and a shield. The flexible arm is hard plastic and Kevlar armored, and it has an electronic deterrent device integrated into its artificial skin that is powered by a rechargeable lithium battery pack. With just a simple pull of a pin, the user can electrify an attacker who tries to take hold of their arm. In addition, the bodyguard has an HD camera that can transmit photographs, a powerful LED floodlight, and a charging port that looks like it might accommodate an iPhone. We can envision this device becoming a vital tool for future law enforcement and bodyguards, but we imagine it will be too expensive to have much of an impact on the average suburban adventurer market, considering you have to ask about it to receive a price quote. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.